What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and tonight we're gonna be talking about the brand new updates in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, some shocking shadow bans, and even more. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and let me know down below in the comment section which mode are you hoping gets the most updates over in season two that begins on February the first. Are we talking 6v6 multiplayer, Warzone, DMZ, or some other modes that you guys might have even more interest in, whether it's ground war or something else? Definitely let me know. But with that being said, as of today, Christmas shipment has been removed from rotation in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. It will no longer be available in private matches either, which I guess I understand. I know Infinity Ward previously confirmed that the map does still take up space, hence why they're removing it even after it's out of season. So there's that for you. But regular shipment has been added back into rotation, and you'll even see that you could find third-person matches over on shipment now, which is great. I don't think that was previously available, unless I just had bad RNG, but that's awesome to know for those out there that are a fan of shipment. But today we also got a new tweet from Infinity Ward confirming our first major update to Modern Warfare 2 for 2023. Here it goes. So they confirmed that this week in Modern Warfare 2, the bounty mode has been added into multiplayer. Take down high value targets in this new TDM style mode. And then over in Warzone 2, as we'll get to in a second, we have some other game mode updates as well. But bounty is a game mode that was featured in Modern Warfare 2019. It's fairly sweaty since obviously it picks one bounty during that match at complete random. And that bounty is probably going to be camping in some very peculiar areas in your matches. So don't expect too much fast-paced gameplay in Bounty, but you might run into a decent enough lobby to have a good time, or if you're familiar with this mode from MW19, then you might like it that much more. Now, it is funny that Bounty was available to play early via private matches when the Season 1 preload did go out a little while ago. I think Cyber Attack, Bounty, and Control were available to play in private matches, but weren't in pubs for quite some time. So what we could say is that in future seasons of Modern Warfare 2, maybe expect a bunch of game modes, or new ones for that matter, to be added to private matches weeks before they're ever available in pubs. Now, we also have the brand new Tactical Human 2.0 bundle that you guys might have missed it does cost 2,000 cod points the 1.0 version of this bundle did release back during november 16th which was the launch of season one if i'm not mistaken and this bundle does feature a hustle cleo skin a blueprint called the jogger for the chimera as well as a blueprint for the sab 50 that's the deadlift we also have a tank skin we also have a sticker and i think that's two stickers actually excuse me as well as an emblem there at the very end but i'm definitely looking forward to the damascus forge 2 bundle which is coming out in the next couple of days i believe january the 10th that's going to feature the classic Damascus camel from MW19 over on the Chimera with Tracer Rounds. I'm aware there's the Damascus Forge 1 bundle that's already in the game, but the Chimera one coming out is going to be that much better. The Chimera is one of my favorite weapons in Modern Warfare 2 right now, probably because it's, of course, the Honey Badger from Call of Duty Ghost, so I'm a bit biased with that one. But over in Warzone, Raven also went ahead and confirmed that we have a new playlist update that's available. So for Battle Royale, we have Solos, Duos, Trios, and Quads. Third Person BR Duos is added into the game, and then we have Mini Royale Trios also available. Now, we'll get back to DMZ in a few minutes because this is a very interesting mention in the tweet where they just say DMZ trios. They also said that the loadout price in Battle Royale trios has also been lower to $24,000 after previously being a couple more thousand than that. And I think that's just a bit too expensive. So I'm happy that with Raven taking more charge with Warzone 2 now, they're walking back on some decisions that I think Infinity Ward really had in place thinking the community would accept. But the community just hasn't been on board with a lot of the decisions that have been put into Warzone on two so with them adding loadouts back into buy stations that's one thing but the fact that cash is start to come across in warzone 2 has people still a bit upset that it takes a little too long to even buy them so might as well either buy your primary weapons from a buy station or wait for the public loadout drop event now what's really crazy to me though is the fact they mentioned dmz trios in this tweet which kind of has me thinking that they're probably going to end up adding in a version for solos duels or maybe quads at some point maybe they just mentioned dmz trios because dmz is of course a part of warzone 2.0 it's a free-to-play mode that stands on its own two feet but is a part of the warzone 2 application if you don't own mono warfare 2 but if you want to think about it with the tinfoil hat for a second i certainly believe that a solo duo or even a quad version of dmz would play pretty well might as well have those options in with toned down ai to accommodate for how many players are in your match Right now, I understand that they want trios to be the entry point for the mode, as devs have confirmed, but maybe as Raven takes more charge for other parts of the game, not just Warzone, maybe they even tap into DMZ a little bit and they start taking control of some post-launch decisions, maybe they'll say, you know what, let's try out a different variation of DMZ. I know in a phone call that happened a few weeks ago, the devs said that there were no plans to add in other versions other than trios for DMZ, but let's just see how that plays out. I think even having just a solo version would make the mode more accessible for 
those out there that want to get into it but don't have a full squad and dmz is obviously best played with a full team now this is perhaps one of the most ridiculous reports i've ever seen for warzone 2.0 and i feel bad for players that might have accidentally come across this it was confirmed that as of today several players are experiencing a bug in warzone 2 that if you get 10 plus kills in a game you get disconnected and shadow banned no i am not kidding so many popular warzone streamers and even just casuals that can get 10 kills in a game are coming out and saying that you get immediately booted followed by a shadow ban now charlie intel did clarify that if you get shadow banned in warzone that could be a result of people out there trolling right they might mass report you which will automatically put you in a shadow ban like state and it'll eventually be reversed because when you get shadow banned your account is just under review and once they figure out that you're not cheating in any way shape or form you'll get unshadow banned but there's no real timetable as to when you'll get unbanned from the game it might take you a couple of days maybe a week maybe more which is unfortunate unless you have some connections to activision you might not be able to get unshadow banned in a timely manner and it might take some time to get back into the action so that's unfortunate in and of itself but then with this bug i guess what i recommend if you want to play warzone right now is don't get any more than nine kills because something bad might happen to your experience here so i just think it's crazy because there's also a list of other crazy bugs that have existed in warzone or warzone 1 to be specific as pointed out here by modern warzone so we've had an issue where driving vehicles into mountain would crash the server for everybody i mean i remember that one specifically but then there's a demon gun bug which i remember i experienced quite a few times on stream that one was funny didn't really bother me that much but i guess for those that needed to use scoped weapons it was nearly impossible to aim down sight because of that bug but you might be able to get a lucky kill or two if you're just up close against somebody that was wild but then respawning as a cluster strike i don't remember that at all if you guys have footage of that definitely shoot me a dm on twitter or discord but if i can find a clip of it on twitter i'll put it here in this video kicked and shadow banned for getting 10 kills that's a new one and then the invisibility and invincibility glitches that we had in warzone 1 i believe a couple of those do exist for warzone 2 as well but yeah there were some pretty hilarious bugs in warzone 1 that obviously tiktoks were made out of funny clips over on twitter but hopefully warzone 2 doesn't see this many bugs so far we've had a couple of weird ones but hopefully warzone 1 remains on top in terms of strange glitches that do affect core gameplay now doug also reminded us that there was also an issue where having too many friends added at one time caused repeated dev errors this one went on without anyone knowing the cause for the greater part of her dance's life cycle so that's about two years i actually don't remember that either maybe i just didn't have too many people added over in warzone but if you guys experienced that let me know down below in the comment section now doug also reminded us over on modern warzone last but not least here that the only word they have on private matches for warzone 2 did come from a private call with developers where they said they would be coming sometime in 2023 hopefully sooner than later obviously warzone 2 will be in the spotlight for a number of years without a doubt treyarch's gonna be making their own warzone map that'll probably be used for outbreak 2 but also warzone 2 battle royale but i think private matches being added in by season 3 the latest would be gold but if they get it out by season 2 that would be fantastic and if they added in a new way to be able and add players to your private match for example if you're a streamer we have the new groups feature in the social tab if they can find a way where people can very easily get into your private matches so you can host without having to actually add them as a friend that would be gold and i guess the new group feature that they've kind of overhauled a little bit in the recent update that could be a very easy way to navigate people into a private match to either want to spectate or podcast whatever that case is but that is about it this has been dk dynamite leave our thoughts down below in the comment section bit of a crazy update for the start of 2023 for both modern warfare 2 and even warzone 2 obviously over the next couple of weeks it'll be a little quiet with marketing leading up to the actual reveal of season 2 that begins on february the 1st i'll keep you guys posted with everything going on officially we got some rumors we got some more bundles and some other exciting different videos that you guys probably didn't expect here for the channel some awesome story related content for the future of the modern warfare canon really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody